hello everyone today's video we are going to solve another problem related to riemann integration it was asked in december 2016 read the problem carefully in the problem they have given us an indicator function which is here chi of x and the set is a this one is equal to 1 when x belongs to the set A and this one falls to 0 when x does not belongs to A. This is the indicator function we have. Using that indicator function, they have constructed a new function fx like this way 1 by n to the power 6 chi of x and the interval is given as 0 n by 200 here n runs from 1 to 200 this function we have in our hand and all the four options are related to this fx in the first option they are asking whether this one is Riemann integrable or not second it is Lebesgue integrable or not third and fourth option respectively says that the continuity and monotonicity of that function in the interval 0 1 0 1 in that interval we have to check all of this it is a giant looking function so try to write it just explicitly and then you will get the flavor how to proceed this kind of problem so just write it explicitly plus 1 by 2 to the power 6 chi of x 0 2 by 200 plus 1 by 3 to the power 6 so on it will be 1 by 99 199 whole to the power 6 chi of 0 199 200 plus 200 to the power 6 chi of 0 200 by 200 this is the function we have okay now consider consider suppose your this one is 0 to 1 okay and you are considering the sub intervals like this way 1 by 200 here it is 2 by 200 3 by 200 and so on it is 199 200 and this one is nothing but 200 by 200 okay simply you have done a partition here okay now if you take your your x in that interval suppose you are taking your x in that interval that means in that interval okay observe it carefully that this interval is contained in this interval that means this interval and this is also contained in this interval 0 to 3 by 200 and so on it is also contained in 0 comma 199 by 200 this interval even it is contained in the last interval as well obvious fact this one that immediately implies your fx is going to be when you consider this one that immediately implies it is going to be 1 by 1 to the power 6 because of that indicator function it is going to be multiplied with 1 similarly it is 1 by 2 to the power 6 multiplied with 1 and so on it will be 200 to the power 6 multiplied with 1 okay so it is turning out 1 by 2 to the power 6 plus 1 by 200 to the power 6 okay. this is our fx when x lies in that interval clear now if you consider x in this interval
that means you are considering your x to be in this interval in this interval that immediately implies your x does not belongs to in this interval so in this interval your indicator function will provide zero that implies 1 by 1 to the power 6 multiplied with 0 but rest of the terms this indicator function will give 1 and so on so you have 2 to the power 6 clear fine similarly if you proceed further then the very last step you will have 1 by 2 to the power 2 200 to the power 6 when when your x lies between 199 by 200 and it is 200 by 200 okay so look at your function this one your fx is going to be this one when x lies between this interval and proceed further you will have your fx like this way so look at the tendency it is monotonically decreasing function fx is a monotonically decreasing clear so look at the fourth option in the fourth option they are claiming that your fx is monotonic function the interval 0 1 obviously it is monotonic decreasing function so our fourth option is correct option all right okay now third option they are asking about the continuity of that function but you can immediately observe that this function is not continuous because if you write this function in a proper way then you have your fx fx is going to be 1 by 1 to the power 6 1 by 2 to the power 6 plus 1 by 200 to the power 6 when 0 less than x less than 1 by 200 1 by 2 to the power 6 plus 1 by 200 to the power 6 when x lies between in this interval then it will be 3 to the power 6 plus 200 to the power 6 when x lies between this interval and so on 1 by 2 to the 200 to the power 6 and it is 199 200 less than less than 200 by 200 obviously it is this function fx is discontinuous at these points at these points at these points they are discontinuous this function is discontinuous at these points clear thus your third option third option they are claiming about the continuity so third option is false now you need to remember one very important property of Riemann integration chapter which says that if your function has a finite number of discontinuities okay then this function is going to be Riemann integrable on that considered interval obviously we are considering 0 1 as our interval and in that 0 1 interval we have finite number of points where this function is discontinuous by that theorem or result you can immediately claim that your function is going to be remain integrable integrable on that given interval so your first option is correct 
and a straightforward result which says that every Riemann integrable function is Lebesgue integrable. By that straightforward result, you can easily say your second option is also correct. Final conclusion is 1, 2 and 4. These are your correct options. Okay. Thank you.